a Made in USA um, descendant. My grandfather opened a shop beside where I grew up in the latter part of the Industrial Revolution. I grew to love the smells and the sounds of the shop where my father and his brothers and his sister also worked. I grew to understand the passion of making things that help support your community. And now as a designer and a branding professional, I have been watching a growing movement of new and old companies here in America claiming Made in USA on their products and goods. Some of these companies tell their American stories with great passion, as in this example. The things that make us Americans are the things we make. This has always been a nation of builders, craftsmen, men and women for whom straight stitches and clean welds were matters of personal pride. They made the skyscrapers and the cotton gins, Colt revolvers, Jeep 4x4s. These things make us who we are. As a people, we do well when we make good things and not so well when we don't. The good news is, this can be put right. We just have to do it. And so we did. This, our newest son, was imagined, drawn, carved, stamped, hewn, and forged here in America. It is well made, and it is designed to work. This was once a country where people made things, beautiful things. And so it is again, the new Jeep Grand Cherokee. But there is a lack of consistency to how these companies are claiming Made in USA on their products and goods. Unlike during the green movement, when the recycling symbol became the one trusted symbol for that movement. One symbol has been used on thousands of different brands, all for the common goal of improving our environment through the purchases that we make. There's been certification marks developed in the areas of data and privacy, for food, for responsible forestry, recycling, and environmental responsibility. But there is an opportunity for certification marks to be developed for any country of origin. Here in the U.S., there are literally hundreds of different Made in USA logos being used on products and goods. There are thousands of other companies in the U.S. that do not identify their products at all. I believe that there is a need for one consistent certification mark for all products made or grown in the U.S. My idea was to provide that consistency through design. I have developed the Made in USA certification mark. The certification mark is backed by guidelines drawn up by Schottenstein, Zox, and Dunn attorneys based on the Federal Trade Commission's regulations for how to comply with Made in USA claims. The icon is an outstretched hand. It also pays tribute to the American flag. The fingers are in red, pay tribute to the stripes of the flag, while the star is cradled in a palm of blue. The hand was chosen as the hands of the workers that work here and grow things in our country. It is also chosen for the business handshake for the promise of reliability and quality of our goods that are made here and shipped around the world. Why should there be one certification mark used on American goods? Because of sustainability. Where you and I, us, the U.S., can be a part of the sustainability equation for the purchases that we make. I believe that red plus white plus blue 
can equal green. Green meaning when products are shipped here from a global location, such as apples, they have a larger carbon footprint than apples that are made and grown here locally and shipped locally and nationally. This feeds another movement, the locavore movement, the crave to buy all things local. Green as in money, manufacturing is good for business. According to the National Association of Manufacturers, there are close to 287,000 manufacturers in the U.S. They produce $1.6 trillion of gross domestic product value. That is a huge number. They support nearly 17 million jobs. These factors together create a new type of recycling, recycling the dollar in our economy and in our communities, as in this example. New Balance has a big effect on this town. Like I said, that I don't think you're gonna find anybody that hasn't been related to somebody that's worked at New Balance. I think that this town would really be depressed if New Balance wasn't here. Because this is a shoemaking town, it always has been. It's a powerhouse here. We got one strong workforce. We probably got the best shoemakers in the United States set right here in Muscogee, Maine. I think it's, it's still that human touch. The stuff that you hand stitch is better quality than the computer stitch stuff, I think. It takes a whole team to do the shoe, and it takes a whole community to, to create that pride. said before, people didn't think we could do it. And uh, here we are, 2009, still making shoes in the USA. Could you not happen to notice the pride in their faces? How many of you in the audience are gluten-free? You understand the importance of a clear identification of the gluten-free certification mark on the products that you buy for the health of yourself and your families. Imagine being able to go into a store and have clear identification of Made in USA and your purchases of those products help improve the health of our economy. The audience is waiting. In a survey of 1,000 adults chosen randomly, 83% of the respondents said they would buy Made in America products as their first choice if given the option between goods made in the U.S. and those made abroad. The audience is waiting. There is an opportunity for thousands of companies here in America to claim Made in USA on their products and goods 
and give consumers the choice between buying products made overseas and those products that are made here in the USA? What will your choices be? Whether it be a choice from an online merchant on Etsy, such as a small teething toy, or being a larger purchase, such as a car from a big company, all of our purchases, all of our choices, help fuel the next industrial revolution. Here's a couple of things America got right. Cars and freedom. <laughs> I think George says it all. Um, recently, my family and I returned to Beckley, West Virginia and visited the shop that my grandfather had started nearly 90 years ago now. And when I went back in, I still smelled the same smells. I still heard those same sounds. And they were still there. But what was also still there was the presence and the spirit and the pride of making things. The same spirit and pride that you can feel when someone says, this product was made in the USA. How can a U.S. business become Made in USA brand certified? Simply by going to madeinusabrand.com and applying. The certification mark is non-mandatory and there is no fee. Thank you.